One of the things that you can expect when you come to the, to the ophthalmologist is first after you do your paperwork and uh, the, usually a technician and the physician will take your, uh, your history, find out what's going on with you, what, what kind of problems are you having. And then they're going to check your vision. And the thing that they put in front of your eyes uh, is called a foropter and they're doing what's called a refraction and that's the way we can test uh, for what's called our best corrected visual acuity, which just simply means what's the best vision we can get with glasses. And so that's the funny thing uh, when the doctor keeps saying, which one's better, Susie, one or two? And you go, I don't know which one's better, one or two. And they keep pressing you, which one's better, which one's more clear. Um, but that's important because that's what we use uh, to write a glasses prescription and really see how well someone can see. After the refraction, uh, people would uh, check to make sure that your pupils are working and that your eyes can move back and forth and all around and then that's working okay. And then they'll take a microscope called a slit lamp microscope and you'll put your chin on a little thing and then there's a beam of light that comes in from the side. It's a little rectangular beam of light. And with that, the doctor can actually see a three-dimensional uh, view, magnified view of the eye. So when they're doing that, they'll look at the conjunctiva, which is the skin surface of the eye itself. They'll look at the cornea, which is the clear dome of the eye. That's what light goes through. They'll look at the iris, which is the colored part of the eye, and the pupil, which is what light goes, goes in. And then uh, folks will have their pupils dilated. So when you get a, a little drop will go in the eye, and the pupil will get dilated very large. And, and after that's done, the doctor can take a look in there with a little magnifying glass and look to see if the optic nerve and at the retina, if that looks healthy. Uh, there's two little those little magnifying glasses. The first one is a, a little tiny handheld one that's done with a slit lamp uh, microscope. And we use that to see a uh, very high uh, magnified view of the optic nerve and something called the macula. Um, later we'll talk about macular degeneration. And it's, it's that little lens that we use to evaluate the macula with. Um, and then uh, you'll, you'll see your doctor put a little a thing on their head, that's called an indirect ophthalmoscope. And, and what that's used for is to look at the, at the peripheral part of the, ret, uh, of the retina. Let's make sure that there's no retinal tears or detachment of the retina. And that, that's some of the things that the doctor will be looking for when they use the indirect ophthalmoscope.